107.5 WGCI, the size number one for hip hop and R and B. It's the morning show with the Destin legend Leon Rogers, yes, the beautiful Kendra G, and myself, the shortest <laughs> man, man in Chicago, Kyle. And as you can tell on the Zoom right now, we got one of Chicago's own out in LA, still doing big things. Corey Hardrick is on the line right now. Hey! What's up, brother? Hey, how y'all doing? What's up, man? Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course, man. Now you continue to do big things. A lot of people have been locked into All American on Netflix, but you're a part of All American Homecoming, right? Yes, yes. Talk about how you got down with this project. You're playing Coach Marcus Turner in the Homecoming. Yeah. Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I play, I play Coach Marcus Turner. I call him James Evans. You know, remember good times growing up? So he's like the <laughs> light skinned version of James Evans. But no, I got down with the project because the creator, NK, I had a meeting with her and she was telling me that this character, you know, they were looking for like a father figure your Tyrell character, mentor, you know, to be tough on these boys, man. And um, I was just like, I'm like that with my son. So I just told her straight up. I was like, when do I start? And she was just like, okay, I'm gonna get back with you. And um, I love the script. And, you know, here it is, like 13 episodes later, we're going into our last episode. So um, the show's out now, man. So um, I'm having a blast as well. So I'm having fun. I love so it. That's, how, that's how it went down. That's how it went down. Listen, but you know, I got to talk to you about it because you did a video with Nicki Minaj, which oh, yeah. was really dope. How was it working with Nicki? Oh, man, I had a great time, though. I Say mean, that again, bro. Say that different. again. Say that again. <laughs> nah, you know me, man. I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. Now, I had fun, though. Shout out to Benny Boom, man. He called me like at midnight the night before the video. If y'all don't know Benny Boom, he's video uh, director. Yeah. And uh, he's also doing TV and film. But he called me and was just like, I got this video and, um, you know, it's with Nikki and Lil Baby. So I asked my son, because Lil Baby is his favorite rapper. He was like, Dad, go, go. And I was just like, all right, cool. I'm going down there. So that's what happened. And Nikki was so cool, man. It was uh, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Had all them barbs hit me up, too, in my uh, in my. What Instagram. was the barb saying to you? No, nah, they was cool, but they be hitting you up, man. It'd be a whole bunch of them. They play- <laughs> It'd be a whole bunch of them. <laughs> It'd be a whole bunch of them. It opened me up to a whole new world, but it was all love, though, so I had fun. Yeah. I had fun, though. If the barbers love you. That's important. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was nothing but love, so I had a good time. Corey, I'm a huge fan of All-American. I've been locked in for a while, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so curious to see how this season goes. But you're playing a coach. Did you pull from, like, your days of maybe playing high school sports? Because, you know, we all had that coach used to go upside <laughs> your head and go crazy on you. Did you pull from that? What was your preparation in getting ready for this role? Um, I studied a lot of uh, Deion Sanders, you know, because he's the okay. coach of Jackson State. So yeah. I watched a lot of him on YouTube and how, like, how motivational he was to them kids and how they were, the kids respected him. And he was just so real with them. And I was just like, man, if I can do half of that, I'm straight and just add my, you know, put my little spin on it as well but uh i pulled from just being because i coach my son too in the backyard like every day like with basketball and i'm so tough on him like he'd be like man like when it's time to train with me he'd be scared you know (laughs) but i was like i'm gonna do the same thing with these kids and you know they look at me too like i'm crazy but they know it's from a good place though (laughs) i'm trying to pull the best out of them you know so the world so the world can see something great in them so that's all it's about for me just getting the best um getting the best out of them so (laughs) Yeah. Corey, you've been a part of like major films. You've been a part of TV shows and the whole nine. How has you being a part of one of these shows that's strictly on a streaming platform? Has that changed anything in your career and how you deal with things in your career? Has it made it better or worse? What's your perception of that? You mean the TV show? Yeah. Well, it's it's, the fact oh, that it's, okay. it's a Netflix show. It's, oh, well, CW, Netflix, but yeah, how does it well, affect your career? Well, when CW, doing- um, the, the original show was on Netflix, was on Netflix, but our show, I believe, is coming on HBO Max at the end of the season. So a lot of people hasn't been able to see that on the streaming yet. They can see it on the streaming app on the CW. But um, the, the original show has been like, it's been crazy because it's the, the Netflix turned into like the number one show on CW because I, I believe it was it was going away. And then when it went to Netflix, it had a took on a whole new life and got like multiple seasons. And the fans were like were speaking up like, I love this show. You know, where can we find it? So Netflix definitely helped it out. So hopefully our show can do the same. But um, it has a huge, you know, a huge following, man. People, people really, really, really gravitate towards it, you know. And um, I get to play a coach, man, which is something different for me. You know, I'm used to playing like soldiers and and gangsters, you know, and I can do those well. But I like I like this coach role too. It's different. I like wearing the flat top, man. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. 
Corey, what I love about your career is you always have been working. Like, it seems like you're one of those actors that has been blessed to have a job each year in some capacity. So what do you think, you know, being from Chicago, from this city, how has that um, helped you with being so successful in your career? Um, I believe Chicago folks, like, I, I believe we're just grounded and we're just super real and we just keep the main thing, the main thing. You know, I never got caught up into the L.A. hype of just being here and being famous and being a celebrity. I'm always focused on the work because I have a family. I don't do too much party. I don't do none at all, to be honest. I just go to work and I come home to my family and I just, you know, I keep it real simple and just focus on work and just say, well, like, what's the next play every time, every job? And you know, I got like like 100 credits later. I've been doing this like 20, 28 years and people will look at my resume and be like, wow, you work with everybody and I still feel like I ain't did nothing. Like that's the, just the way it is with me. And I'm like, you know what? It's all about consistency and the long, long game for me. And I'm um, just doing great work and that's it. And that, that's just how I keep it that way. But that's a testament to Chicago, you know, that realness in Chicago. So I keep that with me forever, you know? I want to stay. I want to stay on that on that path, man. Because I always felt like you, Wood Harris, like for me, are the true epitome of Chicago guys, right? And I and I always admire admire your work and everything you do. Does Chicago gravitate towards each other out in L.A.? Do you guys have a bond out there, or do, or do y'all, or you know, only when y'all work with each other, or is it Black Hollywood when y'all off the cameras, y'all vibe and y'all hang? I'm cool with all like like Wood is my guy, Lil Ray, all those are my people's man. But with COVID, everything is kind of changed. You don't really see people no more, not unless you're working with them. And I haven't worked with those guys with uh, Wood in years, so I haven't really seen nobody. But we're still like when we see each other, it's still all it's all love though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. nothing change, nothing really changes. But um, yeah, it's like Chicago got their own little community. When you find out who's from Chicago, and everybody, like, oh, you from Chicago, so it just gives you a good you know, um, base to like continue to, to keep in touch more than anything and just keep it real with each other. But um, yeah, I don't, yeah, it's not a lot of hanging out going out now. Y'all been to LA, man, LA's different. LA is <laughs> different. I want to stay there too, because you were talking about being in it for the long run and stacking mm -hmm. up your credits and things of that nature. Do you still feel like you have yet to hit that, that one big role that makes you the superstar? Are you still looking for that role? You know what? At, at first, I used to be like, man, how come, you know, I'm, I'm not in Black Panther, you know what I'm saying? Or I haven't never, like, auditioned for, like, those movies. It was so crazy. Like, I've never had the opportunity to, like, audition for, like, a Marvel movie or a superhero movie. And, um, you know, I just, I just look at it like God has me on a path that's mine. And as long as I continue to great work, do great work, it'll find its audience and it'll find the right people when it needs to find them. Because I used to be in a hurry before, but then I'll just be like, you know what? Some of those guys in those big films, you know, they they burn out and then they just be like, man, they gone. But I'm still around and my name is still good. And that's the only thing that matters to me. It's just having a good name. And people know when they see me, they're going to get great work. So after that, you know, that's going to stand the test of time more than, you know, you jumping out there all flashy, you know, walking around with 10 dudes. I'm now I'm just I'm by myself all the time, you know, and I want to keep it that way because that's how Denzel do it. When you see him, he's alone, you know, so. I want to be like that for sure. Um, Corey, sure. So, Yo. so I'm familiar with All American too. Is Tay Dix a part of the, the season that you're on too? No, he's a part of the original show. Yes, I'm on Homecoming. It's about HBCUs and um, oh. it's the new, it's the spinoff. We come on right after All American tonight on the CW. So it's a whole new show in the college oh. world and it's set in okay. Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, it's not in Atlanta. Okay. It's set in Atlanta, yeah. It's college life, yes. Okay. And some of the okay. cast is coming over to our show. Some is on our show as well. You got to tune in to see which ones come over. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I'm happy you clarified that for me because I thought it was the same one. Okay. No, it's a whole different show, yes. We just, we're finishing up our last episode, episode 13 for the first season. So, um, yeah, you can watch it after All American. I think our show is pretty great, too. Y'all like the multiverse of all American football, huh? <laughs> well, well no, we we our show is based on baseball, the sports world of baseball and tennis. Okay. Okay. And tennis set in the college, in the college world. So yeah. Nice. So we're not right. football. And when you think well, about I'm, I'm, go ahead, Liam, my bad. Now I'm gonna lock in, bro. I can't wait to see it. 
I appreciate all you, all you guys for always supporting me, Leon, Kyle, and uh, Kendra. Y'all always look, look out for me anytime I want to speak to the people. So I thank you guys. And y'all been doing a great job, too, for Chicago as well. So yeah. I salute you all. Appreciate you, bro. We're locked in, man. For everybody that don't know, like you just said, HBCU this is what it's all about on this season. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's going down, of course, Corey Hardrick. And let everybody know when the show airs each and every week so they can lock in. Yeah, it airs. Does this come on today or? No. Okay. Um, Monday. Well, this Monday. The show airs on Monday. Monday. Okay, so we probably play it next Monday then. Because it, will it be on next Monday too? Yes, it comes on every Monday on the CW. Yes. Yeah, so okay. we can rock. The, we can drop this next Monday. So yeah, go ahead. So, so, you, so you can say tonight, today, all that. Okay. So check out All American Homecoming tonight after All American on the CW at 8 o'clock p.m. Yeah. 8 o'clock Chicago time? Huh? 8 o'clock Chicago time? Wow, I'm so bad at that. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, okay, but it's on the CW Monday nights. So. <laughs> CW Monday nights, we got you, man. Yeah. Corey Hardrick, right. Chicago's own. We definitely appreciate you. Eight o'clock Central Time is the okay. correct time, so we're gonna make sure everybody tunes in. All right, bro. All right, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kendra. Yeah. Thank you, Leon. 